come up here and I talk about my work as a doctor at Hennepin County Medical Center because about five months ago, the National Rifle Association told me that I should stay in my lane. When I think about the 40,000 people that died of gun violence in this country last year, when I think about the epidemic of suicide that Ruth Richardson told us about, when I think about the families in the hallways at Hennepin County Medical Center, distraught and sobbing, I realize one thing, this is our lane. This is our lane and we are not going anywhere. But I want to talk also today about my duties as a senator and, my, and, the, and the representation that we have in the Senate and is at this point, your prime obstacle to accomplishing our prime obstacle to accomplishing these bills. The House has done their work, they've seen these bills in committee, and they've given them a decent hearing with an opportunity for both sides to plead their case. We have not had that in the Senate, and people say that it won't happen. I don't accept that. Woo! No. Gun violence is not and cannot be a Democrat or a Republican issue. In fact, I don't think that any of the labels around gun violence pertain any longer. The wave of voters, the wave of voters that flipped the House in November were, were both Democrats and Republicans. They were hunters and sportsmen and suburban moms. They were from the city and the greater state, and all of them were stunned by our acceptance of gun violence. All of them were fed up with our collective tolerance of mass school shootings in the suburbs, casual homicides in our neighborhoods, and farmers committing suicides and leaving great heartbreak behind. Right. They had faith that we are capable of better, and they voted for gun sense candidates. Yeah. I trust the Senate Republicans to do the right thing. I have faith in gun owners like myself who expect all of us to manage our firearms wisely and responsibly, to obtain per permits to purchase, to separate people who are unstable or dangerous from firearms. I have faith in this legislature that we can address the crisis of gun violence and maintain our vigilant reverence for the Constitution. Most of all, have faith in you, the good people of Minnesota who show up in the rain and the sleet in March to move us forward toward a better state. I ask you not to write off a legislator because they have a D or an R by their name, but to keep talking to all legislators about the place you want Minnesota to be. We can vote them out, but it is far better to win them over. Thank you, Minnesota.